What's going on YouTube? Back with uh, another video here, lunchtime motivational video. And today I want to talk about 401ks. There's a lot of negative uh, things out there in the on the internet about 401ks. And, um, and I don't know everything about 401ks. I can only go by what I know so far. I didn't do a lot of research on it um, because I, there's so many negative things. Yeah, people said don't start a 401k. Um, no, I think Robert Kurosaki uh, said one YouTube video, he said, uh, don't save money. Why would you save money? Why would you put your money in a bank? Why would you save money? Which I, you know, I'm gonna give you my opinion on those two subjects. Number one, on the 401k, there are some negative things about the 401k. You know, you start a 401k at your job, you put money in, but your sometimes your job matches what you put in dollar for dollar, or a dollar to your fifty cents. So the so you're getting some money, some money from the company to put in your account. But of course, when you take that money out your 401k, you know you take all your money out your 401k. You gotta pay taxes and you gotta pay the middleman. You gotta pay fees. You gotta pay so forth and so forth. So initially, you're losing money. I, I understand that point. There's a lot of negative things about 401k, but no matter. Focus on the positive things about the 401k. The 401k will help you save money while you're not even looking because it might take set eight bucks at your checking account. I mean, at your check every week, you you don't see that money. So, the next five or six years, you have some money built in your 401k. And then, I don't know if your job does it, but my job, you could, you know, take a loan at your 401k and say you wanted to borrow. Five thousand dollars from your four hundred one k, you can do that. Now you got to pay interest on that. You know, both interest is really, really low. You know, I don't know why I have to pay interest on your own money, but that's one of the negatives about four hundred one k. But if you think about it, if 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 you have over thirty or forty thousand in your four hundred one k, and let's say you want to cash all that out, so out of thirty thousand. Let's say you take out six, seven thousand for taxes. You have twenty-four thousand dollars, okay, out of six, seven years, okay. So that twenty-four thousand you can put towards a business or start some business, right? Now, let me ask you this question: When you was young, nineteen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, and your parents told you about saving money, I mean, would have would you have saved thirty thousand? in six or seven years like by yourself if you are you disciplined enough to send after you get paid twenty thirty dollars into a checking account for six seven years don't touch it for six seven years and you have thirty thousand bank account how often does it how often does it happen it, it happens i'm not saying it doesn't happen but usually when you're younger you're not responsible as money the older you get the more responsible you get, the more bills you get. When you have a job, you're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, most people will stay at home until the, with the college or stay at home until they got their own place or stay at home. Or they moved out when they were 16, 17, young, and they had to start paying their own way. So when you first have your first job, you wasn't worrying about paying a light bill or water bill. You was paying your little bills and buying your other stuff so the older you get the more money you have so when you start having kids when you start having to pay taxes when you start have to um save money we have when you buy a house you gotta take care of the house more expenses come over time so this notion that if i start a job when i was 20 now i'm 25 I've put ten dollars in my on my check into a four hundred one k. Now I got fifteen thousand dollars in my four hundred one k. If I cash it out, I might get twelve. I'm I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure. I might get twelve thousand, but that's twelve thousand dollars. Could I have saved from twenty to twenty five twelve k without touching it? Never. It's kind of hard to to differ people about that. So. That's something that I don't understand about the formal case. Yes, it's, it has negative aspects about it. I understand that. But also, 
it helps people save money for people to save money so so you have thirty thousand four hundred one k. If you want to cash it out, get twenty four thousand. You have, you can start a business. You can plus a down payment for a house. That will help you get into real estate business. That will help you do online business. Then you have money because when I'm twenty, I'm nineteen, twenty. I won't think about saving money. And when I did save money in my checking account, I had to use it for emergencies. When stuff goes wrong, I had to. Say I had when my um I bought a house when I was twenty four, prime example, and I had an all 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 heat tank. I had money in the bank. I had money, but when my house started to fall apart, and my house started to you know the water, I got buy all heat all the time. That cost money. I had to pay mortgage. I had to pay light bill, water bill, my car insurance, cell phone, pay the all heat people. I got paid to get my car fixed. So that stuff takes money. So I take my out my savings to pay for heat, to pay for my light bill and my check short. So this notion that 401k is a bad, I mean, I couldn't save up 30,000 in six years in my check. I couldn't save it because stuff happens. My 401k is so, 401k is a little bit harder to get because you got to apply for it. You got to go online. Up. Bank is easy. Bank, I can just transfer money. I go to bank today. I want ten thousand. Give me ten thousand dollars. Four hundred one k. You got to talk to the people or sign a form online, fill in your credit card, debit card information, give a checking account, and wait three, two, three days to get the money. Whether I get my money from the bank like that, so it's, just, it's another process. So people, nothing wrong with a four hundred one k. I encourage people to get a four hundred one k. Help you save some money. Yes, the negative things about it. Yes, they tax you your money. Yes, some stuff doesn't make any sense. Yes, um, they take fees and other bull crap out of you. I understand that. But if your 401k is 60k, could you save sixty thousand dollars yourself? Could you save that yourself? Could you? Po maybe. Probably not. Because when you're young, like I said before, you don't have as much bills. Like who ha who's 18 has a house? Who's 18 have a house. A 19 has a house. I got my mom at 24. That's young. Who, who has a house at 20? Who has a house at 21? It happens, but not like that. It's, it's not like that. First, they get an apartment. They move in with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and get an apartment. Then they get serious, and they get a house. Or the, the, the male gets a house, or the woman gets a house. When they're older and making more money. When you're night when you were tw when you were 18... Now you're 30, you're making more money. You're not making the same money we were 19. I don't believe it. When you're 19 years old working your job, you're making more money. The older you get, the more money you make. The more money you make, the more bills you get. Things happen. So if anybody want to comment on the 401k, is it good or bad? I don't do nothing wrong putting $10 a week in my check. I don't make 10 bucks. And over years, I have 10,000. If I if you want to invest it, I say invest it. I wouldn't take that four hundred one k live off of. I take that money and invest it into property or invest that money into a business and make some money. That's what I would have done. That's a smart way of doing it. So if you got any comments on the four hundred one k that I don't understand or you want to give me some some uh, good information about the four hundred one k, please let me know. Um, again, my name is Tyrone. Um, please, I welcome your feedback. Subscribe to my channel and also. Check out my blog, thexking.com. Thanks.